Hey, before this video starts, I'd like to put a note that in the latter half of the video, we will be covering some PG-13 plus or triggering topics. I'm putting this warning before the video so that way nobody is harmed or feels uncomfortable. I will note this section in the video chapters. The trigger warnings for this video include allegations from others regarding mature messaging. This topic will only be mentioned for around a minute in the video regarding non-biased stances and will mostly be messages from others. All mature wording will be blurred out in that section. I appreciate your understanding and let's move on to the introduction of the video. Popular Roblox YouTuber Faye, most known for his storytime Roblox videos, has been hacked. Yesterday on his Twitter, he tweeted, Got locked out of Roblox. All my limited's gone 2.5 million Robux value. All my Robux spent. I have no idea how this happened. Video tomorrow, hashtag Roblox. Fave has been known for having quite a bit of limiteds in his arsenal, and this hasn't been happening to just Fave. It's been happening to others' accounts too with remote access Trojans, also known as Rat, in a completely separate situation. With a player and developer known as Nikio. In fact, many accounts we've seen been hacked recently, but Fave doesn't know why his was hacked. Both have had their limiteds stolen, with Fave losing over 2.3 million Robux in Rap, recent average price which is what limited sell for in value. To convert that to real life money, that's almost $8,000 lost. However, a lot of people believe that there's something fishy going on behind the scenes regarding these two individuals' history between the Roblox Twitter community and both have done actions the community has greatly disliked. In today's video, we will be discussing the theories the Roblox Twitter community has come with it along with Fave's own stance on it and X's own stance on it. Although they have very much respected fan bases, some argue that Fave deserves it as well as Nick because Fave promoted a gambling site on Roblox and received a lot of backlash, as well as allegations, quote, allegations, regarding his mature messaging with a minor. Both figures, however, and many more have been hacked, which is definitely not good and could pose a huge security risk to Roblox's site. In today's video, we are going to relate the two situations, although they are completely separate, and take a non-biased perspective on Fave's hacking and Nikio's hacking. What's going on? Did anyone really deserve this? Can we argue? And can they recover the limiteds? My name's Duke Alex and this is our Roblox drama series where we take both sides of the story into perspective. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, Hashtag Nerd Squad, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started in this video, make sure to subscribe for those Roblox drama, news, tips and tricks, and more. Don't forget to turn the bell so that you never miss out on one of the video, which are uploaded weekly to twice a week. Our goal is to hit 5k, so if you could help us hit that, that would be great. We are so close to 4k. Let's get started with the organization of this video. We are going to organize it in such a way that avoids bias, as we do not want our story to be one-sided, because therefore we cannot get the full picture of the entire story. In today's video, we will be going through... Number 1. Fave's side of his story. Number 2. Nikio's compromisation. And number 3. The community opinion, how these relate, and my opinion on the matter after going through all the subject matter. Let's get started with Fave's side of the story. start from the first timeline. In fact, after Fave did Machinimas, he uploaded his first training video around 3 years ago. Fave's previous account was banned, which leads him at this point and at this time, it's a running joke in his channel even on merch pieces and more. Fave has always been a traitor as stated in his Machinimas. It is believed by popular rumor that Fave has tried to receive a rollback on his items, which is when Roblox can restore your items on your account. However, when receiving a rollback, you can only explain it once for your account because it's a one-time courtesy. Now you may be wondering why is it one time? If not, a lot of people would abuse the system and would receive multiple rollbacks. If Fave doesn't have a rollback, he can receive his items back, but if he gets hacked again, he's done for unfortunately. It's more of a one-time grace than anything else. As mentioned yesterday, on July 26, Fave tweeted out this message. Got locked out of Roblox, all my limits is gone, all my Robux spent, I have no idea how this happened. Video tomorrow at around 6.07pm. As of now, he has released this video mentioned. I'll summarize it and also leave a link in the description so that way you can find the video yourself. Fave starts off the video by saying something like, I'm not going to do the whole plug type thing, make sure to like and subscribe, etc. because this video is serious. 30 seconds in the video, Fave finally makes the dreaded announcement. His account Fave was hacked into. In the video screenshot at around this time, it says that Fave's account has around 300,000 rap at the time of recording which was a massive decrease. 
He goes on to explain that he takes the viewer into his inventory and sees that he still has some items, such as his glasses, which are the Mega Spectros, the iconic part of his look. He has his inventory private because apparently people report his assets on Roblox. He shows his total around one minute into the video. He explains that he has about two pairs of sunglasses and more, which totals to around three million in value. As stated before, converted, that's around 3 million Robux and would consider Fave to be quite a high trader as he's done on that platform for a very long time. He then goes on to say that this is 2.5 million Robux estimated, and that amount was taken off his account which leaves the remaining items. This takes us to around 1 minute and 24 seconds in the video, where Fave shows his trade logs of someone known as K underscore UNG. These trades are awful and they're all being traded for a shaggy or a poor item, meaning that someone must have changed Fave's trading sessions and trade filtered it off. His most valuable items were also traded for a chill cat too, that's a big F. Then goes to show his purchase history and boy oh boy, the hacker spent around 150k estimated robux because he didn't purchase the Valk or the super super happy face. Then if you skip to around 3 minutes in the video, Fave goes on about how he feels angered that his items are just traded away within a click and that a pin system should be implemented to prevent quote unquote snipes a1 robux items. And this leads us to our point where it relates to Nikios. He says, Another thing I've noticed, everyone's been hacked recently. He goes on to theorize that by having a code, you can apparently just get hacked just like that. Now, this is a rumor. This doesn't have much proof to it. He then goes on to say that he believes the system is corrupt because of the old database of Robux codes. And then we are 3 fourths done the video. Pave then pulls up Discord messages in the black market Roblox space and says he could sell all those items for a good $1,000 real life if he wanted, that is. I'm honestly surprised at his response near the end though where Fave really just shrugs it off, to be honest, and gives a response like, what can you do, really? He ends off the video by saying that he can hopefully get his items back. I have into theories why Fave's account was compromised. There was multiple, which we will summarize here. Number one, Fave's account was compromised due to Roblox codes. Around three fourths in the video, Fave tries to explain that his friend tried to give him the scoop on a theory that Spanish moderators at Roblox apparently have access to old Roblox gift card codes, which gives them access to your account. I honestly don't see how this theory works at all, to be honest. It seems outlandish and absurd that through a redeemed card on a secure site that someone can hack you. What I believe is that they would just be able to see the pin and that's it. Although it is not ruled out, it is extremely unlikely that this is actually going to happen. Number two, there's a theory going around that Fave's compromisation relates to Nikios with an RAT. Nikios account was compromised over something similar, in which Nick downloaded something off Discord that gave hackers access to his entire setup through malware. The definition of that type of trojan is, a remote access trojan, RAT, is a malware program that includes a backdoor for administrative control over the target computer. RATs are usually downloaded invisibly with a user requested program such as a game or sent as an email attachment. As of now, there's no real proof that this even relates to Fave's case at all. It's possible theory and no offense, but usually EXE files of the sort are very easy to spot. I think Fave would be smarter as to this and not take that option. It doesn't rule it out entirely, but it's extremely unlikely Fave went this way. Number three, Fave's password was hinted to be changed in the thumbnail because he most likely had to email support to get his account back. Someone might have password guessed Fave's account, is what some theorize, but again, this seems unlikely as of the prize value in Fave's going off in the video as some sort of pin security. It is not sure whether Fave has an account pin in Roblox settings, which works through not letting people change key details on your account. It is very likely that his trade filter was turned off though, as trades sent to them were complete and utter garbage, sorry had to be said, and were very much bad value. I'm not sure whether Fave had a complicated password or not, so this theory is not entirely ruled out, but it's a possible option. I trust, however, with a value like that in your account, it would put a very secure password. In fact, everyone should put a secure password, no matter what. As of now, Fave hasn't really responded that much other than his Twitter. Even then, he hasn't really replied. It's more of an uncertain situation for him. Anyways, let's move on to our next point, which is the community opinion. To be honest, the community is all divided really over this situation, quite bad. It's very much 50-50 where you have people advocating for him and says no one deserves this, 
while the other side says, yes, they do deserve this. It's honestly really mixed and I feel I should get more educated on the matter before I talk about it. Thank you very much for watching my video. I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe. We're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I'd really appreciate if you'd do that. If you want to binge more of my videos, there's a playlist at the end of this. I'll see you all in the next video.